Hey guys, welcome back. Today I have another feedback show for you. Hey guys, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. Today I have another viewer feedback show. I think we're going to change the format a little bit and maybe not name it Maker Mondays. Uh, it conflicts with the live broadcasts that I do, so I think I'm going to air these on Wednesdays. But uh, I might switch it up depending on the whether we're doing a live broadcast that week. Hopefully I can do them every week. But uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, guys. Just thought I'd give you a heads up and let's go to the first questions. Cool idea. I understand that launching a CubeSat costs over $50,000. Any thoughts on eventually launching your project? Well, actually, this one I don't think we're going to launch. I think we're going to probably keep this on the ground and just do a lot of the electronics as proof of concept. But uh, there are programs where you can launch your CubeSat. The Alana program, uh, I think it's by NASA Direct. There's also a few others where you can hitch a ride and get your CubeSat into orbit, no problem. Interesting idea. I like how it could be usable with the HAB project. Cheers. Cheers, Brett. Yeah, the uh, the electronics used, I think, are going to be perfect for a backup uh, telemetry downlink for the next high altitude balloon flight so ulterior motive uh, dual use of the electronics great domain for a project thanks for starting this you might want to look at ardusat.com website there's a lot of good references there absolutely tons of good stuff on the ardusat website the uh, it's tried and proven and that's where i actually got the idea back when the ardusat was uh, being developed uh, going down range, I think I'm going to clone a little bit more of their technology and we're probably going to link multiple Arduinos together in a, uh, an I2C data bus and uh, we'll see how it goes. Eric, you are one adventurous dude. Bring it on. Thanks, sir. Uh, for anyone checking this out, check out Optimod's channel. Uh, he does some amazing stuff with voiceovers and sound and really cool audio type things. Uh, anyone who's seen Craig Tube. Uh, as live broadcasts, this is the voice who does the uh, the voiceovers and the sound bites for Craig. Way cool stuff. Anyway, thanks for dropping by. Thanks for the comment. Interesting project, but any idea how do you launch it? Yeah, same as I mentioned before, this one no plans to launch, but there are programs to do so. Perhaps you could hook up with an amateur rocket club and really put it into space. Uh, amateur rocket club probably not going to achieve an orbiting uh, satellite. There's a, a couple I know of that aren't really amateur rocket clubs, but there's an outfit out of Denmark that's actually achieving orbit, as last I checked. But uh, for the most part, you're not going to get anything into orbit on an amateur rocket, not for... Uh, enough without spending insane amount of dollars. May I suggest using an EEG headset from Emotive? The market price is a little higher than that of the toy headset you currently use, but maybe higher quality signal would do the trick. I haven't taken a look at your code design. I'm trained as a bioformaticist, not an engineer, but I'm sure you've made some progress on your algorithm since then. You've given me information to proceed on my prosthetic arm, and I wish you all the best. Yeah, I checked out the emotive stuff. Way cool, uh, really high tech. I got enough information out of my my toy headset, the uh, the Mindflex, to do the job. I, I couldn't justify the money spending on something more expensive. But I'm really glad it inspired you to work on your own project. Thanks for the feedback. Could you do a video on the frequencies you watch at the airport? I was just traveling this weekend and kicked myself for forgetting my SDR. Yeah, I could do that downrange. Uh, it's pretty basic though. The air bands and the ground frequencies are pretty easy to look up if you have net access. Not much to it, but I'll try and fit it in as a video. I'm sure you always have to disconnect the battery because of drain on the buck converter. Yeah, this is a very valid point. Something I didn't mention in the video. The buck converter, as long as that battery is powered, will be consuming a very small amount they don't they don't consume much unless the transmitter would be on but uh, a good point to unplug it or wire it different than what I did in the video and wire it through the switch then you don't have to unplug it thanks for the shout out buddy totally unexpected but much appreciated thanks again you're welcome and thanks for reaching out to me so I could check out your channel hi Eric I missed the live event again but really enjoyed getting to watch your show here on YouTube your higher bandwidth made the world of difference big thumbs up all the best Bobby thanks Bobby yeah the uh, the different bandwidth I was actually still cutting uh, my upload way back I'm still working out 
out the settings and we'll try even more on next broadcast. There was a few stutters and hiccups I noticed. I'm not sure whether that's on the encoding end or the YouTube end, but we're going to figure it out. Have you thought about putting an infrared camera up there? Apparently they're good for picking up UFOs flying about. Well, I do have an infrared camera. I have a FLIR i7, but I don't think it would work too well. <laughs> infrared, I don't think, is your, your best bet for picking up UFOs and stuff, but uh, yeah. Somebody might give it a try. Hey Eric, I missed the live cast Monday nights. Great show, I can't wait for the next one. I have a question for the next Tech Talk or Maker Monday, which I like that series. How and why would someone get into SDR? What can you do with SDR? Look forward to hearing from you, Eric. Adam. Well, thanks for the comment, Adam. I think I might have to do a separate video devoted to this. Uh, it's a big topic. Basically, SDR boils down to you can receive essentially any frequency uh, that is in common use for voice transmission or common um, low speed data transmissions uh, with the SDR and decode them. There's not too much you can't do, uh, including getting it down into short wave with a small mod to the USB device or uh, using an up converter. Uh, I think I'll do a whole separate video on this. I'm watching your videos and I'm enjoying them. Learning lots of things, but you lack the links to the items or equipment you mentioned in the videos. I wish you could have provided them under the description. Otherwise, I have to Google them after watching. Anyway, thanks for sharing great videos. Point taken. Um, videos such as the SDR decoding of the Russian meteor satellite that this was on those are pretty involved videos and they have the assumption that you have some SDR experience. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Maybe I should try and break it down as best I can to include the basics in each one. I just try and keep them short and keep them blocked into their specific topic, but maybe I should give a bit more background. I appreciate the feedback. How easy would it be to integrate some sort of camera in this project? It would be pretty cool to have your own picture of Earth from space. Actually, that wouldn't be hard at all. You can use the Raspberry Pi as a slow scan TV. Uh, by the time this airs, you might even, I might have the next video of uh, me decoding SSTV from the International Space Station. We could do the same thing with a Pi and a very basic camera and send it down. Uh, again, mine's not going to be a flying model, but we could do it as recreation on the ground. And I think I might add that later. We'll, we'll take a look at that. I'm a new subscriber. I think this will be amazing. Thanks, Lewis. I appreciate that. Uh, I think it's going to be pretty fun too. Hi, good job. I'm really interested in this project. I'm currently working on a project for my exam. It's about making a Wi-Fi low power modular sensor using Pro Mini ESP8266 and a LiPo battery for the sensors. My SQL for the database and Angular JS PHP API for the web app. Sorry for my English. Have a good day. Your English is absolutely fine. And uh, funny you mention this. I'm looking at in integrating that Wi-Fi module into the project downrange as well. Uh, I think I might be using that same one for an uplink for a simulation of the uplink frequency versus using uh, 433. But uh, thanks for the comment. Hi, Eric. Been a subscriber for a while now. Really love the direction the channel is taking, and I've noticed the hard work you've put in lately. Keep it up. Thanks, Ross. I really appreciate that. It's comments like these that really make me want to keep going with these videos, and uh, I really enjoy sharing with you guys. I really enjoy hearing from you. So thanks. I appreciate it. Wish I knew how to start with programmable boards, etc. Looks ace. The Arduino stuff is so much easier than what you think to get started. Just dive right in, check out some of the how-tos and tutorials, and go ahead and give it a try. I've been a fan of your channel for a while now. Interested in this from not from a CubeSat perspective, but for all the interesting tech involved. Example, RF communications, modulation, power requirements, etc. All have wider applications in Arduino development projects that I have in mind. I couldn't agree more. This is exactly why I started this project. It's not for the specific CubeSat. It's more for the, uh, the technology involved and the systems I can integrate. This is exactly why I made this. Uh, I'm really looking forward to using some of the combining the different hobbies I have. The SDR to receive the, the CW Morse transmissions downlink, but also look into integrating the uplinks, sending data back and forth. Uh, it's just a, a neat project that I can spin off into other areas. Like I mentioned earlier, I can use the telemetry downlink for the high altitude balloon right out of the box. Uh, so many different things we can build with this. It's going to be a lot of fun. 
Well guys, I'm really glad you could join me for this feedback show today. Thank you for all your comments, feedback, suggestions, input. I uh, really appreciate it guys. Can't say enough about you. I really enjoy the community we have. Good luck in all your projects and ventures in the future. And uh, please let me know what you're building. Thanks for watching.